hi everyone uh, welcome to virtualbrigade.com in my previous video I have explained how to create the logical switch and uh, I have explained about the uh, replication modes and uh, I have also created the logical switches and I have connected my vSphere virtual machines to the logical switches to connect my vSphere virtual machines to the logical switch I have selected the virtual machine and then I clicked on the edit settings and then I have selected the network card from the network adapters I have selected uh, the logical switch that I have configured and then click on OK to connect my vSphere virtual machines to the logical switch in this particular video I will explain you how to connect the virtual machines running on the KVM hypervisor to the NSX uh, logical switch before we proceed anything further let me uh, go to the NSX manager from the NSX manager you can click on switching from the switches tab you can see all the logical switches that we have configured and if I go to the ports this particular uh, tab will show the ports the virtual machines are connected to as you can see uh, we have uh, three ports three logical ports showing it up here because we have connected our vSphere virtual machines to the logical switch we have connected our T1 app 01 virtual machine so you can see the VMX file out here for the for the virtual machine running in the vSphere environment and the ID the administrative status and the operational status is also up and what is the switching profile that this particular uh, logical port is associated with and what is the attachment the virtual interface has this ID, ID and the host ID and uh, it will show the device name and the MAC address of the virtual machine or the MAC address of your virtual network interface uh, that is connected to the logical switch and uh, to which logical switch the virtual machine is connected to so the T1 app 01 is the virtual machine connected to the logical port called T1 app 01 and this is the complete port name and uh, you can see to which logical switch is connected to and uh, on the KVM host uh, it is uh, a bit different uh, you need to get the uh, interface and then uh, you use that interface to connect your virtual machine so let me go ahead and click on add so to add my KVM virtual machine to this logical switch I need to type the name low so let T1 web03 port the port name of my web03 virtual machine which is running on my KVM hypervisor and to which logical switch that you want to connect the virtual machine which is running on KVM so I want to connect my T1 web03 virtual machine on web tire logical switch and what is the admin status and the attachment type so from the attachment type you can see we have the WIF which is your virtual interface and uh, the attachment ID so to attach a virtual machine running on the KVM hypervisor you need to get the uh, attachment ID from your uh, uh, XML file which is the configuration file of your virtual machine running on the uh, KVM hypervisor so let me connect uh, to my KVM uh, virtual machine and login as root so if I execute a virtual list which is going to show me all the virtual machines that are running on this particular hypervisor so as you can see with the virtual list all command I can see my domain name which is my virtual machine name t1db01 I am going to start this particular uh, virtual machine with the virtual start and the domain name so this particular command will basically power on the virtual machine running in the uh, KVM environment so once I hit enter so you can see the virtual machine is powered on so you can see the domain which is your virtual machine t1db01 is started on KVM01A hypervisor let me go ahead and connect to my KVM02 as an, uh, a root user I can execute virtual list hyphen hyphen all this will give me the virtual machines configured are uh, running on this hypervisor in order to power on this VM I will execute virtual start followed by the domain name which is my t1 
web03 this will start the virtual machine so once I start I will get uh, the configuration file so wash dump XML so this is the configuration file of my uh, T1 web03 virtual machine so this is the complete uh, configuration file of my VM so if I want to get my interface ID I can grab for interface ID and then hit enter so this particular command will give me the interface ID so that I can attach this what particular virtual machine to my uh, web logical switch so let me go back to the NSX manager here I will add the ID that I have collected from the command line once I click on save once I click on save this will add my uh, virtual machine T1 web03 to the logical switch called web tire logical switch so you can see the admin status is up the operational status is down so now once I hit refresh it will uh, show me the connectivity status as up let me go and uh, collect the uh, DB tire virtual machines uh, interface ID to get the interface ID I will execute Wash dump XML which is my configuration file followed by the domain name which is my T1 DB01 and then I can grab for interface ID so this will give me the interface ID of the T1 DB01 so I'll copy this file I will copy this text and then I go to the NSX manager and from the NSX manager uh, ports tab I'll click on add and uh, I'll name this one as T1 DB tire port or uh, T1 DB01 to be very specific we are attaching the virtual machine T1 DB01 to the T1 DB01 port the logical switch is my DB tire logical switch and the attachment type I am going to choose the virtual interface and then copy uh, paste the attachment ID click on save now uh, the administrative status the admin status of T1 DB01 port is up operational status is down let me go ahead and click on refresh so from the from the ports tab you can now see all the ports are configured and up all the ports are administratively up and the operational status is up so let me open the virtual machine web01 and check the connectivity between the virtual machines so I'll open the console of my web01 VM I log into the web01 VM as root and then I can uh, test the connectivity so the IP address of my uh, uh, web01 virtual machine is 172.16.10.11 so let me go ahead and ping to 172.16 10.12 so now let me ping uh, my virtual machine which is running on my KVM hypervisor as you can see I am able to communicate with the virtual machines running across our uh, different uh, transport nodes so the web01 virtual machine is running on my ESXi host and the web03 which is uh, the 10.13 uh, running on my KVM hypervisor